Hi folks, welcome back and thanks so much for joining. So today we're going to make another kind of casein gesso. Now in last week's video we made a casein gesso using all sustainable ingredients that is suitable for canvas, cloth, and that sort of thing. But today we're going to make one that's better suited for hard surfaces like wood, plywood, cardboard, hard surfaces like that. And instead of using the cornstarch, we're going to use an egg. Well, actually, we're going to use the shells. Eggshells are composed mostly of calcium carbonate, and we're going to use that as a filler. Now, we're also going to ensure that the casein gesso that we make today and can be included in last week's formula is acid free and archivable. So we're going to make sure it's neutral with the addition of a little bit of baking soda and we're going to test the pH. All right, we're going to be using the milk, the eggs, we're going to precipitate the casein from the milk using vinegar. Now, just like last week, I'm going to use the micellar casein powder. It's easier to use for me. I can just store it in the lab. I don't need to refrigerate it. And uh, this is a protein supplement. So very inexpensive. You can buy it online. And of course, a little thymol so the critters don't want to eat your art. All right, so let's get started. And once we're done, we're going to end up with something that looks very similar to this. Uh, now, I free dried this on a piece of cardboard. I have some curl, but on wood, it works very nicely. And you'll see a slight sheen to it. And of course, uh, it's not completely dry because here at Geosustainable, we're always in a hurry to get things done. But I wanted you to point out these little white specks. Now that is the calcium carbonate, the ground up eggshells. Now you can grind it up more or you can buy the calcium carbonate online in a finer mesh. But this is what's going to give your substrate a little bit better grab with your paint. So there we are. So we're going to begin very similarly to how we did last week in that instead of using skim milk, we're going to use a product called micellar casein. It's a bodybuilder supplement and it's cost saving. It's less expensive than using uh, the fat free milk and uh, it's much more convenient but we still need to precipitate the casein from the powder and that we're going to use vinegar. Now, obviously it's going to take more than one eggshell for this mix. We're going to need a similar amount of about a half a cup. So I went and I started rummaging through my compost pile for eggshells. And yes, the boss caught me washing eggshells and gave me the funniest look, but anything for you folks. So we're going to pop in a half a cup of the casein powder and we are going to wet it down with a good amount of warm water and then stir until the casein powder dissolves in the water. It doesn't take long. There we are. Okay, and now we're going to begin piping in the vinegar. Now this is just regular household vinegar. Quite often you folks will see me use the 30% vinegar. But that is something that you would have to get online 
or at a specialty store. So I thought this time I will use just the regular household vinegar so that you can see that process. And this can be purchased at a grocery store. Give it a moment. All right, now we're going to pop this into the microwave and warm it up just a little bit more. And we want to get the, uh, the solution to about 40 C. So we'll be back. All right, so in 15 second bursts in the microwave, we got to 45 seconds and we are there. And the casein has separated from the water very nicely. It's still a bit gooey. We don't necessarily need the gooey part for this experiment. So I'm gonna pipe in just a couple more drops of the vinegar because I want my curds to be small and highly defined. And you may ask, why am I washing the eggshells? And there are, for, there are two reasons for that. Of course, they're a little bit dirty from the compost pile, but because they've been uh, outside in the heat, that sort of thing, uh, a consideration is salmonella, of course. So if you're going to be using your own eggshells, um, wash them. Now, you can also buy calcium carbonate. Okay, let's see if we can get the curds to break up a little bit more. And this is not really a critical step because we can break them up as we're mixing later. But there we have that. And same as before, we're going to strain this through a cheesecloth. And then we're going to wash the curds in cold water to wash out the vinegar. Now, the calcium carbonate will help neutralize the acid in the vinegar, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to wash this out. And now we're ready to combine all the ingredients. I have my, uh, my washed casein curds here. I have one half cup of eggshells. And I have my thymol so the critters don't want it. Well drained. Let's just pop it into the bowl. Scoop out a little bit more. And you can scrape your cheesecloth to get every bit of it off. It rolls right off very easily, just like that. few drops of the thymol. That's about eight, ten drops. You don't need a whole lot. It's the smell that uh, they don't like and they don't get near it. There's one half cup of eggshells to that. One cup of water. And I'm going to stir this just a little bit but then I'm going to transfer this into my little mini blender and mix it up for a good long time until I get rid of all of these casein lumps and I have a smooth, consistent solution. All right, so I've uh, mixed it in the blender for a good long time. And we are 
fairly well mixed. I don't see too many lumps and bumps, but once again, a very important step is to screen it once we're done here. And this will help ensure that we won't get too many lumps and bumps in our uh, gesso so that when we apply it, it'll be nice and smooth, no lumpy bumpies. And as you can see, this is a lot more thin than uh, what we did last week with the cornstarch. And that's to be expected. All right, there we have that. Let's stir this up a little bit more. There we go. And now let's warm this once more into the microwave and bring it back to 40C. All right, so now we're ready to test the acid level of our solution. And we're going to use just standard litmus paper. Anything below 7 is considered acid. Anything from 7 above is considered neutral to alkaline. And alkaline is fine. It is archivable. And we are 7 to 8, so we are neutral. Now, <clears throat> if it came, if it were still slightly acid, you would want to sprinkle in a little bit of baking soda, a little at a time, uh, just a pinch at a time. Stir it in and test it until you become neutral to alkaline. And what we have now is a casein gesso suitable for hard surfaces. Clear. Now, if you wanted to um, turn it white, of course, you could add uh, more... Uh, calcium carbonate, uh, whiting, uh, things like this. But uh, clear is ideal for a hard surface. All right. All right, so there we have it. Another casein gesso made with 100% sustainable ingredients. 
where we precipitated the casein protein from milk using vinegar. We adjusted the pH to non-acid using a little bit of baking soda. And we use an egg, well, specifically the egg shell, as the calcium carbonate for the filler. Now, a little bit of Listerine so the critters are not attracted to it. Now, for the leftover eggshells, we can store that for a long time. And all we need to do is drop a mint into the bowl, and it will stay for as long as you want. Okay, the critters, they don't like the mint. Now, I buy a lot of these for some reason, but they keep disappearing. I think it's leprechauns. I mean, I'm Irish. So anyway, if you like this channel, please look at the little green ball. It'll, you click that, it'll take you to my channel where you can select from a list of uh, topics related to sustainable living products. And thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye now.